Hello everybody and welcome back to Paleo Art Studios. I'm Benjamin Michael Tanner and as you can probably see by the better video quality of this video, I am now actually recording with my phone rather than my outdated 13 year old digital camera. So yeah, big improvement. So for today, I am going to be drawing one of my favorite fictional characters of all time, and that is Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan. So, I'm at first, I'm going to be drawing some different poses of him, and after that, I'm going to be just doing an action picture of him fighting two dinosaurs, and throughout the whole time, I'm just going to be telling you guys how I became fascinated with this character and the big impact he had on me as a storyteller. So keep watching and you'll hear it all. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with, I was one of those kids who first heard of Tarzan with the Disney animated feature that was released in 1999. And as, as a kid, I was just, I was just, really uh what's the word i'm looking for not amazed not enthralled but just swept away by the epic story of tarzan you know this this young boy who was raised by animals in the jungles of africa fighting these big cats leopards and lions and just fighting poachers like it just i was just really blown away by it it was just amazing for me as as a kid like and of course it would be because i was like not e not even four i was three when the movie first came out and it instantly became one of my favorites and just listening to tarzan's yell or battle cry just just really um i don't know what the what the word I'm trying to find is, but but as a kid, I would just repeat that same yell over and over again, and yeah, I just, as a kid, I just wanted to be Tarzan, and I think that was the case with any young boy who's ever heard of Tarzan, but anyway, um, I'm just gonna talk about what I'm doing here, and just explain to you guys how I draw Tarzan. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just drawing a bunch of battle poses and statures for Tarzan as I as I as I come up with different pictures to draw of him in the savage land of Pellucidar that I'm working on. And like tar even though I never read any of the Tarzan books as a kid. I did watch the Disney animated series Tarzan, The Legend of Tarzan. And my favorite episode by far was The Hidden World when when I was first introduced to the segment of Tarzan's saga when he discovers the land of Pellucidar, this hollow earth world inhabited by prehistoric creatures, dinosaurs, ape-men, intelligent pterosaur-like beings, and like, I I just instantly fell in love with the myth of Pellucidar as well as the entire world of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Like, it instantly became a favorite of mine, and that's how Edgar Rice Burroughs kind of became my role model in art. No, not art, sorry, in writing. He became my role model in writing because the world he created and just everything he came up with just hit all the right notes in, in the imagination of a boy who's just amazed by primeval heroes and lost worlds and dinosaurs. So... As for the art style that I use for my stuff, I I saw this 
piece of Tarzan fan art in the Disney Infinity style. And, like, I just l love Disney Infinity. Like, I never played the game, but I love the art style. It's just... It's just really amazing. And it was by studying Disney Infinity art that I kind of learned how to do my own version of a human anatomy by looking at the uh, muscles of all the Marvel heroes and the hourglass figures of the princess figures from the game. And... Yeah, that's kind of how I found my own unique art style. And, um... For my version of Tarzan, I kind of wanted him to be more, um, majestic, more, more feral and savage. Like, I gave, I gave him his leopard skin loincloth because you know that's his most iconic feature the loincloth and and because i have my own idea of setting his story in pellucidar i i kind of wanted to give him a new kind of weapon for fighting his enemies like um at first i kind of went with the idea of giving him an iron spear but then recently for this for this video I I got the idea to just kind of give him an iron short sword that he got from maybe fighting a corsair of Pellucidar or maybe killing a Sagoth and taking his weapon for his own and you know I I think that fits really well with Tarzan's character because he you know he's he's this primal savage warrior though I I tend to use the term loosely because I, I don't know savage would be kind of a, a, an insult to to depict this guy because he takes pride in his animal nature but anyway I just think that the the short sword is a really good weapon for this guy to use because you know in some pictures he in some stories he uses a hunting knife that he obtained from his deceased father and i thought it would be even more fitting if he got a short sword so here are these poses and as and i'm using one of these poses for this picture right here where Tarzan is fighting alongside a Carnotaurus he befriended in his adventures in Pellucidar and he is now fighting alongside an Abelosaurus and and basically when it comes to drawing this stuff like for Tarzan and the worlds that Edgar Rice Burroughs created, like Caprona and Pellucidar, like, as a guy who just knows a lot about dinosaurs, like, I can just add a whole bunch of new things that Edgar Rice Burroughs never even dreamed of in his day to put in his stories or Adventures of Tarzan. And I think that that opens up a whole new frontier for for storytelling like like I can add new things and create all new adventures for these characters and for even for Jane Porter like she's a zoologist and she likes to study animals so I think an expedition to Pellucidar would really be an interesting story for her character and that would probably lead to Tarzan going down into Pellucidar to find her after she's captured by Sagoths or pirates or whatever, and she could probably team up with Diane the Beautiful or Tanar of the Caveman. And I never really read any of the Pellucidar books either. Like, like, in this day and age, those books kind of don't even exist in bookstores anymore. they kind of gone extinct. And that's a real shame, because the stories of Edgar Rice Burroughs 
and especially ones by Robert E. Howard have just inspired me so much to tell these stories of these hulking heroes and these lost worlds filled with dinosaurs and ancient civilizations and it's just their work is just so inspirational and I feel like it's aside from the Edgar Rice Burroughs company who publishes the occasional comic it I feel that Edgar Rice Burroughs work is not cherished as much as it used to be back in the 20th century like around the 1960s like when Frank Frazetta was doing his paintings for Tarzan for different book covers and let me tell you Tarzan is one of Frank Frazetta's most iconic characters next to Conan the Barbarian and the Death Dealer and and I really love his Tarzan pictures like it gives you that just looking at those pictures just gives you that adrenaline feeling that that gets pumping through your veins like when you're listening to a heroic song or an epic piece of music and you just want to go out in the field and run around like you're charging into battle and like that was the feeling I had as a kid whenever I looked at that kind of stuff and it was it was an awesome feeling for a guy like me and I think that's an awesome feeling for any guy who had a feeling like that when they were a kid. It just brings out the hero feeling in you. And as for the influence that Tarzan has had on me as a storyteller, like aside from Conan the Barbarian, Tarzan has been the biggest inspiration for a lot of my characters and a lot of my stories like I just love telling stories about these primeval caveman heroes saving girls in the jungle and riding dinosaurs into battle and fighting these hordes of enemies like what Spear and Fang did when we watched Primal and aside from that it's Tarzan has just been a huge part of my life along with every other story that Edgar Rice Burroughs has ever made. And even though I haven't really read the books, aside from the Disney material, I've also seen the cheesy Edgar Rice Burroughs movies featuring Doug McClure like The Land That Time Forgot and At the Earth's Core and those are among my favorites and they'll always be a huge influence on my work and they'll always have a special place in my heart just as Tarzan does and you know what quite honestly because many refer to Tarzan as kind of like the missing link and since the trailer for Disney's Dinosaur was featured in the preview segment of the animated movie like I've always pictured Tarzan set in the age of dinosaurs like I think it just fits so much better with Tarzan's story like to have him being set in a land ruled by dinosaurs and just fighting with dinosaurs for survival and rising to be the apex predator to be at the top of the food chain and and pretty much that's why I drew this picture because it's it's kind of always been my dream to depict Tarzan alongside dinosaurs and Edgar Rice Burroughs did that only once with Tarzan at the Earth's core and and ever ever since I watched the Hidden World episode of The Legend of Tarzan I've just really I've just really been fascinated with the idea of Tarzan being alongside dinosaurs and that's initially where the idea originally came from and I think that would make for an awesome movie or TV series or heck maybe even a comic series because from my point of view rather than having 
Tarzan's story being set in in Victorian age Africa because he's depicted as more of a of a primitive human at the dawn of evolution like how our ancestors started out like as as primitive and fighting for survival I think a Tarzan story set in Pellucidar would fit really well it would really suit him as the savage lord of the jungle the king of the beasts ruling over the dinosaurs and yeah like it would just it would just fit in really well like at least that's the way i see it i i honestly don't know if anyone else would have it any other way but i i honestly think tarzan is the ultimate primal hero and dinosaurs are the ultimate element to combine with him so anyway um this is my picture of tarzan tarzan of pellucidar 2 you can check out the previous video here on my youtube channel i'll leave a link in the description and um aside from that here is the finished picture and i will see you guys next time later